Explorers and welcome back to another virtual lesson. My name is Miss Alicia and I'm glad you are tuning in this morning and staying connected with us. We are continuing our series on the Beatitudes. We've been working through this series for the past couple weeks, learning how the Beatitudes are blessings that Jesus gave us. The first week we learned about how when we feel hopeless, God reminds us that we have the kingdom of heaven. The second beatitude we learned was that when we feel sad, God will comfort us. The third beatitude that we learned was that for those who don't have many things, God will provide for them. Then we focused on those who follow God's ways, God will always help them. Today, we are learning about how when you treat people with kindness, God will give you kindness. Let's listen to our story this morning. If you have a Spark Story Bible at home, we are on page 190. Our story this morning is called Jonah and the Big Fish. One day, when Jonah was just minding his own business, God spoke to him. God said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and tell the people that I know they aren't living the way I want them to. I want them to change their ways. Jonah may have started with the right idea, but once he started walking, Jonah began thinking about what a long walk it was to Nineveh. Hmm, Jonah thought, I don't really want to go to Nineveh. I'll go the other way. God will never know. So Jonah walked and walked away from Nineveh. When Jonah got to the sea, he paid to get onto a boat to take him even further away. Ah, Jonah yawned. All that walking made me tired. I'm going to take a nap. Jonah curled up on a pile of rope and fell asleep. But God saw Jonah. Whoosh! God sent a strong wind that tossed the ship to and fro. The sailors were so afraid that they started throwing things overboard to make the boat lighter and save themselves. The sailors worried, what's going on? They woke Jonah up. God is mad at me for not listening, Jonah said, so throw me overboard. And they did. Suddenly the sea was calm again. Look out, Jonah, here comes a big fish. Gulp, gulp. Go. The fish swallowed Jonah, and Jonah sat inside the dark, smelly fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed, help me, God, I'm sorry. Finally, the fish spit him out on the beach. Trudge, trudge, trudge. Jonah went to Nineveh. He told the people what God had said, and they believed him and changed the way they were living. God was happy that the people of Nineveh were now living as God wanted. So today, our beatitude that we're focusing on is called, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. So what is mercy? Mercy is forgiveness. So when we say, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy, we mean that blessed are those who forgive, because they will be forgiven. Have you ever had a time when you needed to be forgiven? Have you ever had a time when maybe you uh, took your friend's toy and you ended up breaking it on accident and you needed forgiveness from your friend? Or have you ever had a time where you needed to forgive someone? Has a friend ever hurt your feelings and they needed to apologize and forgive you and you needed to forgive them? These are times when we talk about forgiveness. It's important to forgive, just as God forgave us for our sins. Forgiveness can be hard to do sometimes. But blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Mercy is love in action. Mercy is not punishing someone for something that they did. It's not staying angry at your friend because they broke your toy. It's showing them forgiveness, just as God forgave you. Our God is loving and our God is forgiving. God is merciful. Because God is merciful, we should show mercy and we should forgive each other. 
In today's story with Jonah and the big fish, God forgave Jonah even though he didn't deserve it. Jonah did not follow God's directions. He did not go to Nineveh. But when Jonah prayed and he asked God to help him, God forgave him. And Jonah did what he was supposed to. He went back to Nineveh and told the people to change their ways and live like God. Do you know what this is? It's Plato. <laughs> I bet you didn't know this, but Plato can be molded into anything. <laughs> Plato is soft, right? Plato is kind of like a heart that has mercy. It's not hard, it's not staying in one space or staying in one shape. It can be changed and molded into something new. This is kind of like how when we need to show forgiveness, when we need to show mercy to people, we can be changed. We can go from being angry about someone stealing our toy or hurting our feelings, and we can change our attitude by forgiving them and loving them and saying, it's okay. Just like how this Play-Doh can change and mold into something beautiful and loving like a heart. If you have Play-Doh at home, I want you to show me what mercy looks like. I want you to mold and shape the Play-Doh to create a scene or different shapes and show me what it looks like and how you can show mercy to others. If you don't have Play-Doh at home, grab some paper and some markers or crayons and show me a scene of mercy or forgiveness. Okay, so basically this is me and, or this is me and this is my little brother and my little brother um, broke my pencil and he still has his pencil and that made me really sad, sad face. Um, but then um, my, I forgave my little brother because I said, it's okay, I can always get a new special pencil and he said I could borrow his for the time being. So. That was how I showed mercy. Mercy is love in action. Mercy touches our hearts. God showed us mercy when he died on the cross to save our sins. We should show mercy and forgive and love the people around us. And we should forgive and love the people around us, not just our family or our friends, but everyone, even when it's hard to. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for showing us what mercy is. Thank you for loving us so much that you sent your son to die on the cross to save our sins. Help us to forgive others even when it isn't easy. Mold our hearts to be loving and forgiving like you. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. You can go to your parents' email and find the link to our Beatitudes song for this week, or you can find it on htlcto.org and sing it loud and proud. The lyrics and the motions will be on the screen for you. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye!